Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mathematics. In this lesson, we want to look at uh, this question. From 2022, internal examinations for grade 12, paper 1. And this was question number 20A. In the diagram below, so we have a diagram here. AB is equal to 3 centimeters. BC is equal to 4 centimeters. AD is equal to 13 centimeters and angle ABC is equal to angle ACD which is equal to 90 degrees. So we have a diagram and make sure you verify this information that has been provided here. So AB is equal to 3 centimeters. Let's see. A to B, 3 centimeters. Then we have BC which is equal to 4 centimeters. BC, 4 centimeters. AD 13 centimeters, A to D 13 centimeters here, and these angles BC, which is B, and C, 90 degrees. 90 degrees there. So you have to understand as well that this symbol, the square, only means 90 degrees. So even if you are not provided with this information, just know that this square you are seeing here represents 90 degrees. I hope that is clear. The question, ladies and gentlemen, is coming from a very interesting topic in mathematics, which is called trigonometry. The question is, calculate the value of tan D A C. That is what we want to calculate. So let's begin. We want tan DAC. Okay? We want tan DAC. Now, for you to calculate tan DAC, you have to start the diagram that has been provided. Okay? We have how many triangles here? Two of them. One is A, B, C. This is one triangle. We also have another triangle, which is A, C, D. Two of them. Apart from that, you also need to understand the type of triangles that you are dealing with. That is very important when it comes to trigonometry. You need to know the type. Remember, we have different types of triangles. The one you are seeing here, is what is called right angled triangle. Why? Because of the 90 degree. If this 90 degree degrees were not there, then you cannot say the type of the triangle you're dealing with, a right angled triangle. We have the scaling triangle, we have isosceles triangle, we have a different equilateral triangle and many others. The interest here, why is it important that you need to know the type of the triangle that you're dealing with when it comes to trigonometry? There will be an application of this, what is called, have you ever heard of this before? Sokatoa. This is the reason why I asked you to identify the type of the triangle you're dealing with. Because this does not work in other triangles apart from the right angle triangle. In other words, Sokatoa only works in right angled triangle. Are you listening? You only apply or use Sokatoa in a right angle triangle, not any other type of the triangle. So, this is the one that will help us get the correct answer for this question. We are saying tan. We have three ratios. Trigonometry, tri means three, okay? So, trigonometry means three ratios. And the three ratios are one, sine, cosine, and the tangent. These are the three ratios. The one we are interested in, according to the question, is tan. So we are interested in that. 
Now, tan means opposite over hypotenuse. We are saying tan angle, tan any given angle, you can say tan theta, will be equal to opposite. The O is for opposite, like this, over adjacent. Like this. That is tan. It means sine is what? Opposite hypotenuse. Cos adjacent hypotenuse. And we are not going to use these ratios because the question demands us to find tan only. You would want to know as well, where are these coming from? Opposite adjacent. Well, these two are coming from this. When you have a right angled triangle like this, Okay, you have a right angle triangle. That is a right angle triangle. So when you have a right angle triangle, these three planes have got their own names. And this is where you are seeing hypotenuse, adjacent, and opposite. It represents these three um, sides. Well, how do you know that this is opposite, this is hypotenuse, this is what? The one that is opposite to the 90 degree, this side is always your hypotenuse. Okay? It is always your hypotenuse. The one that is always opposite to this angle. In this case, we can say, look at where the angle is, meaning this is my hypotenuse. Look at where my angle is here, meaning this is my hypotenuse. Hope that is clear. Then the other two, the other two sides now depend on where the other angle is. For example, if I say theta is here, if theta is here, then this one becomes opposite. I see that? Then the remaining one will be adjacent. That is the way we identify. If theta was here, this one could have been opposite, then this one adjacent. So these two, they switch position depending on where the angle is. I hope this is clear. Getting back to the question, we need opposite. For us to find tan D, A, C, we need opposite over adjacent. Now let's go back to the question here. Which one is our opposite? So we want tan D. Where is D? D A C D A C. Are you seeing that? D A C. So the angle is here. A. D A C. I see that. So for us to find D A C. Tan, we need opposite. So if the angle is here, I said this one will be what? Opposite. So this is our opposite. I also need adjacent here. The right angle, 90 degrees here, meaning this length is what? Hypotenuse. Then the remaining is the adjacent. So you identify sides like that. Well, now that we know what will be our opposite, it's not given. This length here is not given. Adjacent, this length here is not given, adjacent. So we need to find O, we need to find A. Then we just substitute in there. We just come and say tan DAC will be equal to whatever numbers that we are going to find there will be our final answer. Now, the question is, how do you find A? How do you find D? O? Well, we start with A. So I'll be able to get that um, triangle, which is A, B, C here. B, C, I've been told that it is 4 centimeters. Then this side, I've got 3 centimeters, 90 degree here. I want this length. I see that? I want this length. You also need to understand that for you to find, 
this length only in a right angled triangle you need to use what is called the Pythagoras theorem okay you need to use the Pythagoras theorem theorem this theorem just like Sokator only only works in a right angle triangle you use Pythagoras theorem to calculate sides you use Sokator to calculate both sides and angles only in this type of a triangle not any other triangle please get me very well there so in this case we cannot use Sokator because we don't have uh, angles therefore we are using Pythagoras theorem here what does it state? How do you go about it? Well, I want AC, this length. Eh? So in Pythagoras theorem, you have to write it in square form. AC squared is equal to... This theorem states that if you are calculating for the longest side, in this case, hypotenuse is always the longest. So if you are calculating for the longest side, then... You have to add the squares of the other two sides, meaning 4 squared plus 3 squared. Why am I adding? I'm calculating for the longest. In a case whereby you are calculating for one of these, the shortest, you are supposed to subtract here. Get me very well there. So now we can find the answer to this. SE squared will be equal to, what is 4 squared? This will give us 16 plus 3 squared, 9. Then SC squared will be equal to, this will give us 25. Remember, this is paper 1, so you don't have to use the calculator. So this will give us 25. To get rid of the square, you introduce square root on both sides. So that this square, that one will go. And our AC will be square root of 25. You get the positive value because you are dealing with the length. And that will be 5 centimeters. So our AC, therefore, is 5 centimeters. This is 5 centimeters. Next, we want DC. I see that. Again, this is a right angle triangle. So I can write it here. It's like this. Okay, it's like this. So we have D here. I've got A here, I've got C here, 90 degrees there, I've got 13 here, centimeters, I also have 5 centimeters here that I've calculated, okay, so to get this length here, I have to use Pythagoras theorem, again, because it's a right angle triangle, there's a 90 here, so the application therefore will be, um, CD, I want CD, so it will be CD squared is equal to the other two sides. I've got 13, 13 squared. Now, I said you have to be very careful, you have to check whether you are calculating for the longest or you are calculating for the shortest. So, look at what is happening here. Are we going to add here or subtract? Well, 90 degrees here. Meaning hypotenuse is here, 13. I see that? Meaning the longest is given. In this case, you are not calculating for the longest like it was here. Therefore, you subtract here, the other side, which is 5 squared. We together? Then we can proceed to say CD squared is equal to 13 squared. That is 13 times 13. And this will give you 169. Okay, minus... Uh, 5 squared, 5 times 5, uh, that will be 25, like this. And then CD squared will be equal to 169, take away 25, will give us 144. Okay, then to remain with CD without the square, you introduce square root here, also on the other side square root. Cancel them. CD will be equal to square root of 144, positive value it will be 12 so what i have here now is 12 
centimeters. Now that I have the sides, I will now be able to fuse them here. What is my opposite? Opposite is 12. 12 here, adjacent, 5. 5 here. This is the final answer. So, therefore, the value of tan DAC will be equal to 12 over 5. End of the story. Thank you very much for watching.